Hi guys, it's Steph, and I have some five guys today. I am so excited. I'm sure you could tell it's five guys because their bags always look like this. <laughs> Greasy. So I've not had five guys probably in like three years. It's been a long, long time. Maybe even longer than that. Yeah, it's been a while. And I asked you guys on a poll today on my community tab on here. I was like, what do you guys want to see me eat? I said Chick-fil-A, Canes, Five Guys, or Wings Stop. And Five Guys won. So don't worry, I will be doing the other ones here soon too. And we got some fries. They're like all in the bag. They always give you so many fries. So I was actually just there and then I ordered the food and I was like, shoot. I got my camera at home. How do I, how did I do that? Like, I went out to get five guys to film and I forgot my camera. I could have just filmed on my phone, but I only live like five minutes away, so I was like, I'll just come back. <laughs> Look at all these. And I was like munching on these fries and the whole drive back and I forgot how good they are. They're so seasoned. I always get the Cajun ones. You have to. Mmm. Whoa, look at this greasy napkin. <laughs> we'll add to it. And then I got a burger. Five guys. Ooh, that's burning hot. <laughs> Five guys, burgers and fries. Five guys, burgers and fries. Five guys, burgers and fries. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mm. So I got tomatoes, mayo, lettuce, <laughs> I'm saying it in the most bizarre order. I got ketchup, mayo, mustard, lettuce, tomato, pickles, caramelized onions, or no pickles, raw onions and caramelized onions, and just cheese, and this looks good. I forgot how like melty their cheese gets and the UPS guy. Okay, he didn't walk up to my house. Look at this. Ho, ho, ho. This is beautiful. So cheesy. Look at this side. Wow. Now that is a good looking Five Guys burger. <laughs> and to finish it off, I got a milkshake. You want some whipped cream? He's like, do you want whipped cream? I'm like, of course I do. Whipped cream is like the best. So I got a peanut butter banana milkshake. You like kind of make your own there. So I was like, I think that sounds really good. They also had like salted caramel and a few other things. So let's give it a try. I haven't had a milkshake in a while. Banana flavored things is so good. Like, ever since I was little, banana popsicles, love. I guess I've never really had banana pudding. But banana, like, milkshakes. Mmm, banana flavor is just so good. You'll never really catch me just holding a banana like a monkey eating it. Like, I never really just eat a banana. <laughs> like, unless it's like cut up in a fruit salad, I'm never just like walking around eating a banana. I don't know why, I'd rather eat like an apple <laughs> for anything else. And they're not even, they're good. Like, I don't know, I just don't really like eating a plain banana. But banana flavored, mm. So good. Getting in my, my nutrients for my banana while I eat this big burger. Okay guys, cheers. Wow. That is one good burger. It's still so hot and really juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's honestly one of like the best burgers. 
I've been eating burgers a lot lately when I've been going out to dinner. I just really like burgers. And this is probably the best one I've had in a while. So this was $10.50. So it is a pricey burger, so it should be good. But this was $10.50. The little Cajun fry was $4.50. And then the peanut butter milkshake was $5.50. So total everything was around like $20. What time is it? It's two o'clock. <laughs> I'm finally eating. I'm like a late eater. <laughs> I really am, but I had like a Zoom call at 12 and then my dad came over at his lunch. Is my wash machine is like not working? I don't know what I did. <laughs> not really sure, but I put a big rug in it because Hershey went to the bathroom on it and I put a rug in the washing machine. I mean, it was not it was like a front door rug and I left the tag on the rug. Don't ask why, I just was like, I didn't know if I wanted to keep the rug in the first place. So I was like, let me just wash it with the tag on. I don't know, I'm like, a, I leave tags on everything. I will leave the house with a tag on clothes because I forget and still my kitchen table that I bought forever ago and the bench I bought almost two years ago. Or a year ago. Yeah, the tag is still on it. Like, you could just walk around my house and the tag is still on lots of things. Not even because I want to return it. But when the tag is still on something, to me, I feel like it's still brand new. So yeah, I've been using my kitchen table every day and the tag is just dangling off the sides. I don't know, it doesn't bother me. My mom's always like, take the tags off. She's like, I'm gonna go around your house and rip all the tags off things. I'm like, okay, I don't know. Just <laughs> doesn't bother me. Does anyone else do that? So I put the rug in with the tag. So I'm like, did that break it? Like, did the tag get stuck in there somewhere? Not sure. So that was the last thing I washed. And then I have like all these stinky clothes. I put them in a bag. I had to take them out because then the water wasn't draining. So yeah, and I had a little Zoom call today. I am designing something. So, very exciting. And then actually in a couple hours, I have to take her to the vet. She just has a regular appointment. She's just being established at a new vet. Since I moved, she has not been to the vet, so she's just going. She's not due for any shots or anything until the end of the year though. But I thought it would just be good to get her established at a new place and they can have her new records. And in case there's ever an emergency or something, it's good to have a vet. So that is what I'm up to today. Last night my friends came over and we watched The Bachelor. Bachelorette, whatever. I always just say Bachelor. And woo, is this season a, a mess. This season is a disaster. They just like kind of keep fighting with each other. Well, it's bad. The group of dudes is pretty bad. I really like Nate. He's my favorite. Hayden is horrible. And he was like my favorite by like first impression. I, I thought he had like a cute looking face. But then once like I heard him talk and stuff, I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> mm -mm. He is so mean. And a straight up liar. I'm not gonna get too into it anymore though because I don't wanna spoil it for anyone or if you don't watch it. You have no idea what I'm talking about. My mouth is starting to get tingly. 
and I'm not sure what it's from. Usually it's MSG and homemade ranch from restaurants. It always happens to me and my mom. Our tongue will just like tingle for like an hour or 30 minutes after we eat something. So she stopped like eating that stuff that she knows has like lots of MSG in it because it does that. So I wonder what has the MSG. Is it the Cajun seasoning or maybe the something in the burger? Mmm. That is one good burger. And I usually don't even order double patties for things, but it's good. Should definitely keep it in the foil. What are you guys up to today? Happy August. Isn't it crazy? It's already August. I know. You guys, look at this water bottle I got. Ow, my fingers are stuck. Okay, so look what I got. I got this giant gallon water bottle for the fun of it. And I wanted to see if I was able to do it. And yesterday I drank it all before it was even like the end at nine. I've always said that I drink a ton of water. I'll get a lot of questions like asking like how do I keep my skin so clear especially when I eat like some greasy food and like maintaining my weight which obviously it's not all just with water but it's super good to stay hydrated and I've always drank a ton of water so usually I fill up like my Yeti cup like 10 times a day and that must be like a gallon of water I don't know because that was so easy to drink yesterday and I actually filled it up more at the end of the night. So if you need help drinking water, get one of those. I have it linked in my storefront um, on Amazon, but they also make a half gallon one if you don't want to carry around that ginormous jug. But it makes it more fun to drink water when it tells you like the times. It's like a game, like, oh, you have to get to this next line in the next hour, this and that. So, I like it. It's my second day using it today, but I love drinking water. And I put it on my story on Snapchat, and some of you were saying it's like really horrible to drink that much water a day. Is it? I'm like, I don't think so. I feel like you can never have too much water especially when it's hot in the summer like I'm not like chugging it like I'm sipping it all throughout the day and I was like well that was super easy to drink so I must have been drinking that no matter what so when I say I drink a lot of water I really do I love it and like once you start getting into drinking water because some people don't like it at all or struggle drinking like even one water bottle Set a goal, be like, okay, today I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna refill my water bottle three times. And then just like, when you go to take a sip, don't just take one sip, take like a few big gulps. And if you like spicy food, kick up the spice because then you you want water and then you're like drinking a lot of water. That's why I love Flaming Hot Cheetos as a snack because I'm also like keeping myself really hydrated. Mmm, raw onion is so good. I love the crunch. Plus they make mio you could put in your water if you don't like the taste. But like you'll get used to it. Like the more you just drink it, Like you just get used to it. Like I cannot go anywhere without my water bottle. I just get thirsty. Like all the time I just want to be sipping on water. So just like get a cute water bottle 
and just keep filling it up. It's fun to drink out of like a cute reusable bottle. But yeah, that thing's fun. I feel like that's like a main reason why my skin is pretty clear because I'm like flushing out everything. I did order some skincare products because I want to start like actually doing a lot of steps in my skincare like wear sunscreen every day and you know put on the serums and all that good vitamin stuff. So I ordered some stuff and I haven't used it all yet, but I think I'll put it on my second channel. I'm doing like a skincare routine. Because right now I just wash my face. With soap. <laughs> and use like lotion. So I don't do too much. But I'm going to start. So I want to like start taking better care of my skin. I no longer go to tanning beds. I haven't gone in months. Like a while. Maybe like April. I will lay outside though. But I feel like tanning beds. They say are worse. But I don't know. I have no idea. Because it's like, if you're laying outside, isn't that kind of like the same thing? But, I mean, just do what you want. Wear sunscreen. Oh, no. I can't even eat this bite. There is a massive hair, a blonde hair, in these two patties. Watch. It's literally in there. Well, good thing that happened at the end, I guess. Uh, that's gross. <laughs> Sometimes that happens and like I don't really care but when it's like a long, long one like that and it's like in the patties, like, if it's just like sitting on top of the food, you can like, you know, not eat that bite of food. But okay, I was done anyways. <laughs> ah, well, go get yourself some Five Guys. <laughs> Oh, so many times I find hairs in my food in these videos. It's quite funny. <laughs> I That hasn't happened in a while though, honestly. But I'm gonna just drink my milkshake. Hopefully there's no hairs in this. <laughs> okay, well guys, I hope you enjoyed this Five Guys mukbang. That burger was really good. Um, and I love the fries. Sorry I did not have my table tray today with me. I broke it and my dad is fixing it for me so that's where that is I was gonna go inside and get like a cooking tray or something because I know you can't see like the fries and it's like hard to eat everything when it's not like in camera but there wasn't too much food so I think this worked out great but I hope you all have an amazing day an amazing week and an amazing August I wish you all happiness positivity blessings love wealth just everything. It's a new month and it's almost fall time actually. That summer went by pretty quick. I mean, it doesn't start getting cooler until like October, but I do like fall and I'm excited for Christmas, so I'm excited to wear the Ugg boots and big winter jackets and cute fuzzy hats with puff balls. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Okay guys, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.